Russian oil imports are now banned after an order from President Biden today. Some believe this is an opportunity for Utah to step up its own oil production. Others say this is a chance for the state to pursue renewable energy options. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser is live from North Salt Lake refineries tonight. Emily. Bob Kelly behind me is one of the oil refineries here in the state. The governor's energy advisor tells me that they're all working at capacity and actually could do more, but there are limitations in place. Russian oil and gas is now banned from the United States and energy experts here in Utah believe the state can step up to help fill the void. We need to be able to send a message to the market that America is open for business. Tom Carter is the energy advisor to Governor Spencer Cox. He says Utahns should expect to now pay more at the pump, but for the sake of lower income families, that can't last long. We want to ensure that, you know, energy as an enabler that makes our modern life possible does not leave people behind. And this is what makes us so worried about what's happening right now. The governor sent President Biden a letter Monday asking the president to eliminate barriers so states like Utah can ramp up domestic oil production. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, Utah's five oil refineries can process nearly 200,000 barrels of crude oil a day, and the state is ranked ninth in the country for crude oil production. Well, we won't be re heavily reliant on on Russia. We can't be relying on Russia. We won't be reliant on other bad actors, Venezuela, Iran. In a statement sent to Fox 13 News, the Utah Petroleum Association says if the U.S. is serious about quickly increasing production, this administration would need to expedite permitting decisions and leases. Nonprofit organization Utah Clean Energy says there's already enough oil coming out of Utah and that renewable energy is the way to go. Sun and the wind cannot be owned by any one country or controlled by any one country. Those are the things that are going to provide long-term security for the United States. Representative Blake Moore believes the red tape should be removed so Utah can start producing more oil, but he also says this is an opportunity for the state to pursue all avenues to produce oil and energy. If we embrace our American independence of this, can we use that as a way to, to diversify into more renewable options too going forward instead of having to rely on bad actors? Carter says even if President Biden were to eliminate those barriers tomorrow, it still wouldn't be a quick switch, but he says it could bring some stabilization to the market and that could help drive prices back down. Reporting live north of Salt Lake, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. Emily, thank you. Fox 13 News will continue to cover the latest developments in Ukraine. We'll bring you updates both on the air and at fox13now.com.